It is Friday, November 13th. Let's talk Oculus. So we have a lot to cover in this show, but before I get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because this show is going to come every single Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern. So if you like what you see, hit subscribe and hit the like button. And now with our first news story, and that is that VR Cover is now available on their website. Now, if you're not familiar with VR Cover, I do have one right here. These are little cover face plates that can go onto your Oculus Quest. So there's like padding on the top, so it's like more of like a memory foam, a little bit better than the one that the Oculus ships. I do really like the feel of these on your face. It is much more comfortable than the actual Oculus one that it ships with. However, there is one thing I don't like, and that's this little flap thing here. This should rest on the nose and it feels a bit odd to me. I don't know, I've had it for about three weeks now and I don't know if I'm just not used to it yet, but I gave it to my housemate as well. He was playing uh, walkabout mini golf and he didn't really like it either. So you can remove this off. It's just a couple of pins that you can just take off. Um, however, then if you take it off, there's too much light that comes into the headset at the bottom. So they're not flawless, but they are really good. They're much more comfortable than the one that it ships with. However, and this is a big however, there's been multiple reports on the Reddit community that they're prone to leaving marks on your face. And I don't mean just skin marks that just go away. The dye of the cover rubs onto your skin. So proceed with caution here. I haven't had any issue with mine. I was playing Thrill of the Fight the other day, um, a VR boxing game that's like, I was just dripping with sweat afterwards. But even though this got sweaty, it didn't leave any marks on my face. So this might be okay. Um, but I just want to let you know, just in case there are a few duds in the wind. They did delay the release because of this issue though, so hopefully they've been fixed now. And if you are interested, there is an affiliate link in the description below. So it will help the channel out if you buy it straight through there. Sticking with accessories now, and B Haptics have launched pre-orders for their new haptic vests for Oculus Quest. Now if you're unfamiliar with B Haptics, they make VR haptic vests that are dotted with ERM motors that deliver haptic feedback when you're playing certain VR content. So basically, if you're in a game like Onward, a war game, and you get shot in the chest, you can feel the shot, which sounds amazing. I'm not gonna lie, these vests look dope as hell. And like I said earlier, I've been playing Thrill of the Fight, a VR boxing game, and these are compatible with that game. So the fact that you can feel the body shots as you get punched, it sounds amazing to me. It sounds unreal. Sadly, it's out of my budget, but I'd love to at least try one out. There are two different models, the X16 and the X40. Seems like the only difference between them is the motors in them. And the price, of course. The X16 starts at $299, where the X40 starts at $499. Still, a little bit out of my price range. For me, if I'm gonna invest $300 to $600 on something, it's absolutely gonna be for a VR-ready PC. And the reason why is because of our next new story. And that is that Medal of Honor has been teased for the Oculus Quest. If you know nothing about this game, I'd advise you to check the trailer out after this video. It looks absolutely fantastic, but it's only available for PC VR. So if you have an Oculus Quest 2 with a PC that can run VR games, then absolutely, you can hook the link cable up and you can play it. But for me, however, I don't have that. But it looks like that they're gonna try, at least try, to bring it to Quest. A quote from one of the producers of the game, Mike Duran, said, we absolutely want to bring the game to Quest, but we won't compromise the PC version to make that happen. Once a PC content is final, we will assess what it will take to get above and beyond on Quest. And with that exercise complete, we'll be able to make a decision. Medal of Honor Above and Beyond is an extremely large, complicated game. Such a port would not be trivial and we won't do it if we don't think we can deliver on quality. We will just have to wait and see on this one. Just remember though, the Quest 2 does have the best Android mobile platform chip available to it. So maybe they can unlock the power of that next year. My fingers, my toes, everything is crossed for this one. However, I wouldn't bank on it. I'd expect like an announcement in Q1 if they're gonna do something, if they're gonna figure it out at least, but I'm not too sure. I hope so, because the game looks fantastic. Facebook has announced a new set of VR accessibility checks that it's gonna do with every single game. Now they released a video earlier which talked about all the different accessibility VR checks for Oculus titles. And if you're unaware of these, these are checks that cover audio, visuals, interactions, locomotion, movement, and other aspects of accessible design. The documentation details a lot, 
like how to create puzzles that are also considerate with people with color blindness and implementing subtitles. This is nothing but a positive for the Oculus platforms. It allows more and more people to get their hands on VR and able to try more and more games. So big thumbs up from Facebook here. Onto the deals section of the show, and unfortunately there are zero, absolutely zero deals on the Oculus Quest store, for games at least. There is actually one deal for an expansion pack for Beat Saber that we're going to talk about next. And that is that there was a new music pack for Beat Saber for the group BTS. Now personally I haven't really listened to any BTS songs but I know they're absolutely popular amongst everywhere in the world. I've seen the YouTube view count and it's into the billions. So they must be really, really popular. So if you're a big BTS fan, you're gonna love this music pack. And speaking about the deals earlier, there is 37% off this music pack at the moment. So you can get it for just $15. The lack of music packs for me in Beat Saber is the only issue of the game. The game is super fun, but there's not enough variety of music. Now personally, I was a big fan of the Linkin Park pack, just because I'm a Linkin Park fan. So I want more of that personally, but some more drum and bass, some more hip hop maybe. There just needs to be more variety, especially with the multiplayer available now. So fingers crossed for more packs, but this pack actually features 12 songs. It's the biggest pack yet. So hopefully there's more big packs to come. Actually, I just thought, System of a Down pack would be amazing. If you've not heard the song BYOB by System of a Down, go have a look at it on YouTube. This would slap in Beat Saber, absolutely slap. It would be amazing. And if you've heard the song, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So please, System of a Down, Beat Saber pack, let's make it happen. On to some game news now. And Salmon Max VR has been announced for Oculus Quest for the Q1 of 2021. If you're unfamiliar with Sam and Max, they are a beloved comic book characters from the late 80s to the 90s. There have been games released in the past for consoles, also TV shows, but this is their first VR adventure. From the looks of the trailer, it seems like a bunch of mini games, Five Nights of Freddy VR style. But that's it, we know nothing more for now, so stay tuned. Now if you're a fan of multiplayer shooters like Onward or Population VR, then you're going to want to check this one out. This is Contractors. Contractors comes out to the Oculus Quest on December 3rd. It is a first person VR competitive shooter that originally launched on the PC VR back in 2018. It's multiplayer only, but it's cross play with the Steam VR users and is also cross by if you already own it for the Rift. Only time will tell if it's going to fit in the market where Onward and Population dominate, but hopefully there's room for another one. And it's only $20, so it's worth picking up. So December the 3rd, mark that date. So Halloween has come and gone, but that doesn't mean we're going to stop with the horror games. Cosmophobia has been announced to come to Quest in Q1 2021. This is made by the team behind Dread Holes, another beloved horror game that's on Quest. Sadly, I didn't get the chance to play that one with my Scare Quest series that I did for Halloween, but this one looks very, very good. It's a survival horror game, roguelike, which get this, this is what they say, escaping a dying spaceship filled with nightmare. Now, if that doesn't tickle your horror bones, I don't know what does. For me, I'm all for it. Survival horror, perfect. Just give me more and more scares. It sounds a lot like Alien Isolation too. You'll have to explore the ship to gather resources to help get home to Earth whilst being stalked by some kind of creature that you can constantly hear growling in the background. See, this gives you nothing but Alien Isolation vibes. I am so hyped for this one. And finally, a VR movie called Wolves in the Walls is coming to Quest next year. This movie originally came out last year to VR, but it is beloved by many in the VR community. It follows Lucy, an eight-year-old girl that starts hearing noises in her home. Interacting directly with the viewer, Lucy tries to warn her family in a threat across a 40-minute story. I'm really excited for this one. Just like I said last week for the VR movie Spheres, these VR movies are perfect, absolutely perfect for getting people who are not into VR or have never tried VR into our community. This is the best thing to make the community grow, so I'm all for it, and I can't wait for this one to come out. And that's a wrap. Now, if you're interested in VR golf, I wanna release a video next Tuesday about Walkabout Mini Golf versus Pro Putt Top Golf. These are the two games that people say are the best golf games to play, and I've played them both for the past three weeks, so I wanna give you my full rundown of the comparisons and which is better, or maybe you can get both. So if you're interested in that, Hit subscribe so you don't miss that one out on Tuesday. I've been Dan, thanks so much for talking with me, and I'll see you next week. Hit him out. <laughs>